Spirit Health Central. I'm Rachel Del Mar, your host. Thank you for tuning in. It's so nice to have you here. Considering it's the last day, it's a weekend, it's a Friday. Thank God it's Friday. Everyone's just rearing for the weekend. I look forward to Fridays, don't you? With us are Mike and Riza. Riza, you brought in a friend today. Would you like to introduce yes, her? Yes, she's spinning. She has been my uh, movement partner for so many years now. So later on, we'll demonstrate how to move as pure energy. Pure energy, okay. <laughs> like for those of you who weren't able to catch our show early on this week, we covered so many interesting topics on body movement. Mm -hmm. And the first day, uh, we did the basic movement of breathing and just pulsating. That's right, we did the basic breathing, yeah, introduction. The second day, we moved with the drumming sounds of mic to connect to the earth and to allow the spirit to move through the body. That was exciting once yeah. we started putting in our own little music here. And the third day we did life waves, the stages of life from birth, prenatal to birth, to childhood, to adulthood, to maturity, and finally transition. And, and yesterday we moved together. Yes, yesterday I had a chance to dance with you. Lyri lyrically, being aware of pitch, beat, rhythm, and all the elements of and range. music. But today, instead of me dancing with you, you brought your dancing partner. Well, maybe I, I, I'll dance with her and then you can join in. And no, I think I'll, I'll join Mike with the drums. Oh, okay. <laughs> My movement will be towards the drums. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Movement can be inner, it can be outer. But you know what was exciting, like that time we were on the drums? It's exciting how Mike would start off and you'd start dancing and Mike would pick up. And like automatically without having to speak we, we, we wouldn't even like talk we just feel each other we don't even look at each other so he increases and I'm, I'm like increasing there and your dance is getting more intense mm -hmm. and then we start to die down and we just pick it up from each other Mike starts going down I start mellowing out and even your dance until it's finally out yeah, that's a, the that power was, of the spirit that's beautiful it's energy you know it's mm -hmm. it was really good too bad if you guys missed it don't worry because today we'll recap and show you a little bit of everything that happened within the week. Don't go away because when Health Central returns, we'll be back with more of Mike, Riza, and Pinning. Arpening, Mike, and Riza. You know, we touched on so many topics during the week. Of course, we started off with the basic breathing, moving on to movement, and we even touched on spirituality. We even did a little bit of, while we were doing some of the dance movements, we did a little bit of singing. But you know what? We have not touched on the most important, beautiful instrument that nature has to offer, which is the human voice. So, chanting. What is chanting, Riza? Well, chanting is a natural uh, way of singing from inside. Maybe Mike can elaborate. Mike, you had one nice sentence about chanting? Yeah, chanting is um, what we call is a whale of spirit inside. It's a spontaneous that comes out within the spirit dwells. No? It's so it's a spirit that's inside and spontaneously comes out. Yeah. So it's still energy. It's energy. Mm -hmm. Pinin, what have you got to say about chanting? When you chant, what do you think of? When I chant, I think of my dreams. Your dreams. Yeah. That's nice. And what about chanting? Like, what are the basics in chanting, Riza? What do we have to remember when we chant? You just tune into your body again, which is what we use anyway throughout life, and then give it sound. Give it sound. Like, does it follow that whatever you feel at the moment is what you're going to chant about? Mm -hmm. And you make use of the breathing. Make use of the breathing. breathing yeah. Do you chant with certain words or do you just like emit any sound that would possibly come You can use come words out? whether they mean something or not. Um, why don't we do this? Pini and I, we move as pure energy. Okay. And the two of you, you chant your energies and you drum your energy. Okay, it sounds good. Okay. Let's try that. So let's do an energy activity here. Okay, okay. I'm gay. All right, here we go.
Nice. That was good. So Mike, you know, I was just like making fun. You still have to teach me how to chant. I was just yeah. trying to imitate what I see in those movies, right? Yeah. But like you were doing the real chanting. What do you think of when you're chanting? Uh, it's actually, it, it's an energy that spontaneously comes out in the moment of, of feel inside. It's okay, just like, uh, so it's spontaneous. Like I was trying to think, what will I chant? And it wasn't quite working. When you first tried chanting, did you feel that it was like easy to chant or it was it also had to take a little getting used to? Actually you feel good when you do the chanting because it's it's an as what I said, it's an expression that wails inside it's to comes out. Huh? It's a release so of So it's a form of communication. Yeah, it's actually it's a form of communication. Basically the, the words that comes out is just like a e e u u something like mostly that. Mostly just no? the vowels. Yeah, it's mostly the vowels and uh, yeah, because I noticed there were no like real, you know, solid words. It's yeah. just like he you know? communication with himself, but at the same time, he was communicating with Dine and I. And, and you guys were communicating we were, back We were time. picking up the energy of your chants and your sounds, and we were communicating. We were exchanging energies too. So it's all, yeah. you know, union and harmony. Okay. Now for those people out there who want to try chanting, what should they keep in mind? Be an open heart to, to, to express what is inside. And uh, let the... Spirit comes out. So just let the spirit flow. Yeah. Don't think about anything the way Don't I was. Don't think about anything. Just, just free. Free your mind. Free your mind. Free your mind. Yeah. So, okay, I'll keep that in mind. You guys have seen energy in dance and you've heard it in song. But when we come back, we're going to show you a different frequency of energy in movement. Don't miss it. Central, it's Body Awareness and Movement Week. It's our last day, and for those of you who missed the first four days, don't worry because you know what? Since it's the last day, we're gonna incorporate everything and give you a sneak preview of a little of everything, and you'll see it all today. Like we just did chanting. Mike, what did you say was the most important thing to remember about chanting? Yeah, as just I told you, it's just an open mind that uh, let it go, let it flow. Just like um, what I said before that. Um, Chanting is somehow, we're doing it every day. You, say, you were saying that it shouldn't reach the mind, like if, if you're carrying something heavy, you just yeah, let yeah, go of it? Yeah, something like you're carrying a heavy thing and you just say, ah. So it's a form of chanting that perhaps our spirit comes up, but it doesn't came from our head. So it just, it just goes from here to there? Yeah, you know, it's, it's just a spontaneous energy that you let go. To make okay. it more lighter or to make it relieving, I say. Okay, I have a, an observation. Can I just tell you guys that chanting always intimidated me for the simple reason that when you hear chanting, it's always like straight out of a horror movie. Or yeah. when you hear chanting in, in, like in a movie, something bad's going to happen. You, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, we want to know. Chant. Not the Gregorian chant. We want to know. You guys are all Roman Catholics, right? Okay, right. you're all like, okay, so don't worry, people. It's not, you know, it's not something bad. You kids out there at home, don't, you know, you can turn your TV back on and put the volume on. Chanting is not really that scary. I mean, it's just saying whatever you feel like yeah, saying, right? It's, it's actually, that's what I get, again, we were saying. It's a relieving kind of energy that comes out from inside and let it go so that you can feel the lighter of your spirit inside because you it, know baby's really, chant yeah really? you watch the baby you know my my grandson he would just be there and he would, he would go ah. he's listening to his own voice oh i thought they were singing i thought that was their version oh, of singing chanting. also yeah. would you say that singing and chanting are almost the same thing yes except that in singing there there are words that have been composed okay as a matter of fact our next movement will make use of well, do you find that when you're like dancing, do you chant at the same time? Yeah, uh, for me, 
uh, chanting is an expression coming from the sacred space, from the womb. Oh, okay. And you, Riza, when you chant, where does it come from? Does it come from the womb, from the feet, from the arms? Or <laughs> it comes from everywhere. In fact, there are different vibrations in different parts of the body. So if I have a stress, let's say here or here, then I tune into that and I let it go through sound. Like, ah, uh, if it's a bad feeling, like if it's a broken heart or some analog, then... Oh, you can't possibly have a broken heart with that figure? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, we, we won, but we won. <laughs> well, you know, you can pay me later. <laughs> That's the connection. We want to know, like, how often do you chant? Actually, um, we're doing. Actually, we're doing it every day. Huh? Every and, day. Uh, every day. Do you have like a fixed time, like for the moment you wake up, you like, you know, especially, you start chanting yeah, or yeah. before you sleep? Yeah, especially or? when you wake up, it's just like a spontaneous chant of ah, ah, mm, so You must be leaving, really popular huh? among your neighbors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like chant without the drums or most of the time you find that when you chant it's you know it's complete effect with the drums yeah especially um, during the, the the time that we play in the house and um, and the drumming comes up and then the chant spontaneous comes on and it it, it jives and gives more spirit because the the rhythm is there so it goes together with it okay and what about movement you mentioned earlier i heard you all eavesdrop and you said nakaka miss mag movement i heard her so how often do you do movement? Well, um, if I'm in the mood, every day. Every day? And Even you twice a day. Um, movement for, for me is just like saying, yes, Lord. So that's every day, on a daily basis as well. A any moment. It can be a prayer. It okay. can be a prayer. It, it's like praying with your whole mind, your whole heart, your whole body. Okay. So it's a thing. And we promised the viewers before we uh, did the break that we're going to show them a different Frequency. frequency of energy okay. and movement. Okay. All right. Are you ready for that? Yeah. Okay. okay. So this is making use of the most beautiful human instrument, which is the voice. What's with that?
Wow. That was Risa and Fining doing their prayer through movement. When we come back, we'll have a prayer that Risa made. Don't go away. Now, as a perfect way to end our body awareness and health um, movement, we have a prayer here that Risa wrote. Risa, when did you write this? What inspired you to write a prayer? Oh, um, I was reading a book about creativity, and the book encouraged me to write an artist's prayer, so I did. How long did it take you to write a prayer? Ah, uh, one sitting, like 10 minutes. Okay. And again, it was like chanting. It just, know, it just came, so I wrote it down. Beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to read her prayer. Mike will uh, play the drums. And both Pining and Riza will interpret the prayer. Her prayer. Okay. Artist's Prayer by Riza Rages. Great and Holy Spirit, show me how to express my creativity. To serving you, myself and the universe to give without the thought of taking to keep moving on without giving up to work and not tire to spend my life without any expectation then to love and to your holy will great spirit help me to co-create with you and spread your waves everywhere i go Fill my spirit with light, your light. Penetrate my whole being, so that my whole life's work becomes a reflection of you. Shine your radiance through me, so that everything I write spell out your presence in my soul. Let me paint my canvas with your colors and images. Resound my voice with your song. Dance through me and be so in me that every movement I make is yours. Let me be a channel of your healing, your love and your forgiveness. Let me express your beauty in my poetry. When others look at me, let them see me. And let them see your Holy Spirit living and creating, singing, and dancing in the fullness of my life. Amen. Thank you very much for joining us. We'd like to thank our guests, Pining, Riza, and Mike especially, who joined us the whole week. Thank you very much for enlightening us. We definitely learned a lot from this week alone. And for those people out there, if you fail to catch us, don't worry, we still have another show on Monday, a different topic, a whole different topic, another way to keep healthy. You don't want to miss that. Join us every Monday to Friday, 10 to 10.30 in the morning, ABC 5, the first show in the morning. Don't forget, health is wealth. This is Rachel Del Mar, and you're watching Health Central. Thank you.